Hey guys, it's Andrea. I've got a bag I got out of storage. This was my things that my great grandmother made. She passed away before I was here. So this whole bag smells like old books and antiques. But um, I'm guessing these were made somewhere between 1930 and the 70s. Somewhere, somewhere around the bouts in there. Mom gets the 40s or 50s. It's on the envelope, Mom. Oh, I didn't know what she put it in an envelope. Oh, no, it's on the paper. Okay. Birthday. Birthday invitations. Okay, let's look at the, I haven't looked at this stuff in ages. There's tons of doilies that she made. Some of these are so aged, they're almost brown. What y'all's advice for if I was to clean these? I'm assuming some kind of soak. But isn't that good? How does she do that? I'm not a crocheter or a knitter, so I have no idea how she made these. It's really lovely and delicate. And y'all give me your guesses what year you think these were made. She died in 73. And then, she, so she was born in the late 1800s. I think 1896. So she was probably making things. I would say from around 30 to death, right? So. I guess everybody made doilies back in the day. You never see doilies anymore. This one's got, I think, a hole in it at the bottom. Her name was Nellie. Okay, this one I think is beyond saving. It's got this stain on it. Wow, look how intricate that is though. So how did one make these? Is this crochet or something totally different? Gosh, look at that. Tiny, tiny work. Excuse my ignorance about this stuff, but I don't know about this stuff at all. But that one needs some heavy restoration. Okay, it's like, there's embroidery, obviously, but it's like half of a piece of cloth. Is it, is it a tablecloth as well, like for a side table? That's my guess. Like for a chest of drawers or something? really cool. They smell like a museum. This thing's a handkerchief. Rose. I 
I should try to salvage some of this and use it. Look how pretty that is. That's I love this one. Put this on a countertop or top of a chest of drawers. It's lovely. can't see that picture in this frame, but up here above my window, I have a watercolor that she painted. Another rose. She liked flowers. Little bitty doily. More roses. She was from um, Mississippi, like Tunica, and but she died in Memphis. They m moved to Memphis, Tennessee. What are these things? What in the world? Like to go on posts, maybe? Did they doily everything back in the day? Tell me if y'all know what those are for. Okay, we have several handkerchiefs now coming up. They've got this weave in them, this design. I'm thinking she made this whole piece of cloth. Feels like linen. It's really soft. There's one, there's a whole pack of them. One, two, three, four. I bet she made these for her husband, my great grandfather. Five, six, and they're all the same with that design. This one's got stains. It's very pretty though. Got the edging. This matches the handkerchiefs. It's the same detailing, the, but it's huge. So maybe it's a, maybe those were napkins, but it's awful small for napkins. They're handkerchief size. But this looks like, I'm guessing it's a tablecloth. And it's in the center, it's got like this checkerboard design. Can y'all see that? It's got some stains on it too. Yeah, these need some restoration badly. It looks like a long table cloth. Pretty big. Isn't it cool? Y'all tell me what you know about this kind of stuff because I know little to nothing. It's really cool though. She had to have made the whole thing, right? I mean, how else would she have gotten these designs in the middle of it? Interesting. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. 
subscribe if you like to watch unboxings and I'll see you at the next one.